what we uh, do have here is a research setup, mm -hmm. uh, which we are using if you consider all these aspects of uh, future autonomous cars and uh, the interaction with future autonomous cars, uh, you have to test it in a certain uh, way. And uh, basically to gain this knowledge we made this setup here uh, with some little bots where we can make a certain sh a shared space experience. So we have uh, here in this case five little bots with uh, which we can interact uh, on this surface and where we can show uh, different scenarios. Uh, in fact, I would like to st start up uh, these uh, shared space bots. So, are they starting up? One, two, three. So, we have now uh, these uh, five uh, little bots. Should I stay here? Oh, no, okay. move around. Yeah. And uh, the first one, uh, the first thing is that we get one of those to us. So uh, basically, these robots themselves have very less intelligence uh, in, in themselves um, because we just want to use them for interaction tests, for thinking about how you could interact and to explore this uh, interaction, the shared space. Okay. Uh, they have very less sensors on it, so what we are using here in these corners you see uh, these are laser rangers, so okay. there we are sensing the persons and, and their uh, uh, robots are tracked by camera system. So uh, the first thing uh, in a shared space is oh no, sorry sorry <laughs> and the first thing in a shared space is that you have um, a certain identities what robots should have because in shared space have autonomous cars you always have people you have vehicles you have bicycles and so on and uh, this is uh, basically what we are able to do here now. So uh, here with this aura. Mm -hmm. You see uh, we have now a, a blue means autonomous driving, so you have an autonomous car, you have this eye which more or less identifies uh, what kind of character it is. I can also switch through uh, the different characters. I can go now to, uh, for instance, a bicycle okay. or I can go to um, um, a human or other one. Or switch it off. Okay. So l let's go uh, back to autonomous driving. So okay. we, we switch on the autonomous driving. So we have now here our car. And uh, there is a, a lot of uh, light symbols and, and signals which also where we mimic the uh, F15. Okay. For instance, uh, blue means uh, self-driving and white means I'm driving on my own. So I have here the uh, possibility. Oh, oh sorry. First, I, I switch to the light signals. I have here the blinker to the left okay. and, and blinker to the right, or uh, stop, stop uh, light. And so, okay. Now we have white light. White lights means uh, it's not in an autonomous drive, so I can control it here with my uh, joystick here. I should. Let me check one. Oh. Ah, no, it's, it's not. I think I have now a delay. I don't know why. So this is how I can uh, drive around. Mm -hmm. So, but now I go back to the autonomous uh, uh, position, and one of the uh, main important things in autonomous driving is you have a certain sensor field. So okay. uh, what the uh, robot actually is seeing, we currently have it here, um, uh, record, uh, here displayed in this, uh, in this shape. You see if you're walking around, for instance, you can walk together. Uh, then you see, first of all, that the sensor field is uh, changing. And also what you see is here, the white light is changing. And the reason why we uh, have this white light is there is that we uh, want to uh, give the uh, pedestrian this feeling that they, uh, they are seen by the robot. Okay. So this is the reason why this is lit up. And yeah. Good. Let's send it on a little circle maybe. So, and you see how the uh, sensor field is, is changing and again here if you're walking you see the LED the white with it. Good? 
Brilliant. Let's send it shortly home. Okay. And go to another scene. Basically, we're using uh, this setup for uh, a lot of different scenes, a lot of different tests. Okay. So it's it's not really like a, a, a show show demo. It's, right. it's more or less like a, a research platform which okay. uh, we are using. So let's go to the next position. Uh, maybe. What we do have here is a situation, we have a, a, a street here, which is symbolized where the car is now going around. And basically what we do have in the middle is some kind of a green spot. This is a, um, this is a area basically where, for instance, a pedestrian wants to go. So what you could do here is, for instance, step on here, stop maybe. And uh, you see the sensor field, the uh, uh, yellow one. It's, it's recognizing you, it shows oh. you this, uh, yeah, and yet now you can go over, yeah, now you're here. So, and the car will start over again. So, and, and this, these are the things uh, we are uh, trying to experiment with uh, different kind of, um, different kind of uh, interaction methodologies okay. which are uh, going home. But I, I think we send our little friend back again. Mm -hmm. So, and now um, in the next uh, situation, so what is, is very often uh, necessary is to uh, really give them these different identities, mm -hmm. to have a real space, a real shared space. And just to symbolize, I, I show you one example. So we uh, bring them on arbitrary positions and okay. give them a certain identities. Okay. And these certain identities are, so we have now our shared space. Right. We have, for instance, here a bicycle, a young girl, okay. an adult, a normal car, and a self-driving car. Okay. And um, all these in a, in a shared space have certain intentions. Mm -hmm. So let's look, for instance, at one of the intentions, like, for instance, the young girl, come on. So the young girl has this intention to go maybe to his father or the adult. Okay. Uh, and then let's look at the intention of the self-driving car. It has the intention to go to the parking spot. Okay. So, uh, and these two we don't know at the moment mm -hmm. and uh, we can start the scenery and see what is basically happening. So what we see is that they are all going, uh, the self-driving car stops because it sees uh, a kid and these are, are moving around and the kid ended up with his father, mm -hmm. so happily. And the uh, self-driving car finds its way home. So, uh, but what Alexander said before about this uh, situation or this uh, scenery that you want to, this space you can, um, can define certain areas which are robot free or where basically uh, you can define in which are a safe place. Okay. This is something what we can show also here. For instance, we have the uh, two humans mm -hmm. and uh, they have a certain intention. The intention is to play badminton. Okay. And uh, what they need to do to do this is to take these radar reflectors and mm -hmm. put them, for instance, here in the corner. Okay. and make a certain safe field. So, and then they can start playing uh, badminton. And the car now won't go Yeah, won't into go the into this. This is a, a basic principle in it. Right. So now you see the little okay. ball. And the cars are now going around and won't hit this area. Good, but uh, this is just to symbolize uh, what the basic principle is behind. Mm -hmm. And we also can do this on our own now. So, let's send him home. So we take now uh, three of these uh, boys here and uh, let them move freely. Okay. So what we can do is we can take uh, these, these elements, which are these radar reflectors, which are very uh, cheap and simple ones, and just put them to make a safe area. So put another one. So, and this would be here our safe area where basically okay. we go. Well, and this is um, 
the area where the uh, robots won't interfere uh, with, uh, with the people. So you can make this safe and it always will go around. And also for sure the robots themselves, if you get, get closer, they will uh, recognize you and that they won't, won't so hit they won't you. Yeah. So, basically. What happens if you trap one of the robots? So if we moved these and yeah, it was inside, I mean, uh, there is uh, this is <laughs> this is then always this, this question: how we uh, are we dealing with it? I mean, currently uh, there is this; um, it's trying to escape or get out, right? Because, but not in in reality, this won't happen. No, so no. this won't happen. But it's just an algorithmic uh, mm -hmm. question, and we are currently solved it that you can just it drives out mm -hmm. and then gets free. Right. So good. Uh, then to. Uh, then I send them home again, mm -hmm. and let's make a, a little hand. Thank you very much. So. Good. So these robots can also do some kind of little street graffiti. Okay. So, and if they want to say goodbye, they make their little street graffitis. <laughs> Perfectly. But that's basically it. I mean, it's just a glimpse about uh, the research setup. So uh, yeah. the robots are not very intelligent, but this is not the point. For us, it's very important to mm -hmm. get knowledge about this future interaction of you know, human-centered uh, mobilities. And, and this basically is the intention to do this. Right. Brilliant. Good.